Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're talking about conditionally formatting one column by another column. Stay tuned. Okay, conditional formatting was, was released. Oh man, I think, you know, a long time ago. And then they updated it, and now they allow you to do something that customers have been asking for for since the inception of, you know, since they released Power BI. Um, how can I conditionally format one column by another column? And you know what? It actually happened for me. I was working with a customer a week ago, two weeks ago, I don't know, not too long ago. And they said, hey, Patrick, I have these names and I want to color code them based on something specific. And I was like, well, guess what? You can do it now with the desktop. And you guys know how I like to do instead of all this talking, head over to my laptop. Okay, so let me bring this over here. So I got this desktop file and basically what they wanted to do is, so a manager, I have a slicer here and as I select the slicer, it shows me all of my direct employees. Okay, so you can see as I choose a manager, the manager can see all of his or her direct employees. And based on this days to retirement, they want to color code the actual name. So the manager doesn't have to look at that column if he or she doesn't want to, right? They can look specifically at the employee name and say, hey, if they're red, they should be retiring or get, they're getting close to retirement. If they're yellow, mm, pretty close. And if they're green, ah, we got them for a long time, right? So how do you do that? How would you have done that before this update happened? I think it was the May update, May 2018 update of Power BI, right? And so with this new feature, you can absolutely do it pretty easy. And I'm gonna show you, all right? Let's back to my laptop. Okay, so let's choose a manager that has a lot of employees, right? So now what I wanna do is conditionally format this column based on that column, all right? Check it out. So I mean, what I'm gonna do is make sure you select that element, okay? And what I'm gonna do is choose the little drop down arrow next to full name, choose conditional formatting, and you have two options, background color or font color. I wanna do font color, all right? So we'll choose font color and it'll pop open and right at the top, look at that, it says format by color scale. So you can choose color scale or rules, but what's really important is based on this field. This is great, this is awesome. So instead of count of, um, full name, I'm gonna go ahead and expand employee, the table that contains the column, and then days to retirement, right? And then I want this to be diverging, okay? So I'm just gonna accept the defaults for now, right? And I'm gonna explain why I'm gonna change it in just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And now what you're gonna see is all this craziness happening, right? So it's based on the lowest value, the minimum value, and the maximum value. So Power BI is gonna kinda handle the numbers that it's based on for me internally, okay? Now, there's one little problem with this. If I have a small number of people, right, the lowest one, right, the one that's on one end of the spectrum will be red and the other one is green, um, which really doesn't say anything to me, right? It's great that I can base it on that other column, but what you should do, right, what we did in the real world, right, as a real world example, right, we wanna modify this a little bit and kind of explicitly state our own value. So what we're gonna do is go back to conditional formatting, choose font colors, and we're gonna change all of these just to number, okay? So we'll change the number, and so lowest value, anyone, you know, that has less than about, you know, within that range of 50 days, right, within a year, right? And then anyone above, let's just say two years, right? 730. We click OK, and now, right, now we actually have something real, something that's relevant to them, because that was actually their thresholds that they wanted to specify. So now if I go look at a large list right here, I can see, look, this you know, this person's a long time, but everyone that has this kind of red or arbonish or orange type of color, it's getting close for them to retire. And I can visually look at this pretty quickly as opposed to scanning these numbers and trying to remember all those things. We can add our own little legend and things to Power BI, but it just, you know, it helps us so much um, from a visual perspective, all right? What do you guys think? How were you doing this before? I'm sure you guys have come up with some really interesting and neat ways to do this, right? You've got some comments, questions, or whatever, post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.